the television personality and writer saw an unidentified flying object while on holiday in Brazil and now wants to pass on her love of UFOs to her grandchildren. Jo, 67, also said she is eager to meet an alien one day. The sighting happened in 1996 when she was with then-husband Rami, who she was married to for 26 years, and two of her children. The experience moved her so much that she became obsessed with the idea of life beyond our planet, and even launched a podcast called Alien Nation in which she interviews others who have had close encounters. She said, we were leaving to go back to Sao Paulo the next day, and I'm packing. Ronnie's outside, and he starts shouting Joe there's something in the sky, there's something in the sky, so I go out and see what it was and there over the sea was a. I can only describe it as a big, huge, thing and the lights came from under it and reflected onto the sea. And we went oh my god, what is that? He ran in to get his glasses and I stood there watching it and then it lifted up, it went to the right, and as fast as you can even imagine flashed across the sky at unbelievable speed. And I stood there and went, oh my god, that is a UFO. The next day we got onto the plane and they handed us newspapers and the headlines were UFO invades Brasilia, and hundreds of people had seen the same thing. It was so exciting, I wasn't scared at all. Jo, who is starting her second season of Alien Nation right now and is talking ahead of UFO Week on Blaze, described that moment as sparking an obsession. She added, that was it, I was off, I was convinced. It made me believe there's more to us being here than we realize. There's something else going on. I only hope that when I die I find out. I would love to meet an alien, a friendly one obviously, and just hang out and ask questions. Jo describes her role as a grandmother as bringing her great pleasure, adding that they are interested in UFOs too. She added, my grandchildren are all very in tune with it. My grandson Otis often comes over and he made me a UFO and did drawings of aliens. And my grandson Kobe, he saw something in the sky coming home from school and he took a picture. My granddaughter only yesterday sent me a picture of some lights in the sky. So they're all open to it. I will encourage curiosity a lot because I think you must question stuff. I really think you should always have an open mind, and not just go with the narrative. I know that's easy, and you don't have to think then, but I think it is so good to be inquisitive and curious. There are so many unanswered questions. It makes it so much more enjoyable to live when you're looking with an open mind at everything. It's very easy to be full of fear, but my mother used to always say fear is man's greatest enemy, and if you can live without fear you will be a lot happier. I try not to be fearful of anything. UFO Week is on Blaze, from tomorrow to April 3rd from 9pm.